All right, testing installing SNOM 1 on a Mac MacBook. Uh, this is the first time I've tried to install it, so we'll move ahead here. We'll click continue. I should say first time on a, a Mac. Um, looks like it's giving your ports there. That's really nice. That's excellent. Something at PBX and SIP didn't do. And looks like we need to agree here. Why don't we do that? Continue. Yep, I agree. And we'll let the standard, that's usually safe, click install. And start asking for my password. Don't watch what I type there. And maybe I'll just pause. Although normally this doesn't take long. All right, it's giving us the URL to the URL to log in, which is nice. So that's nice. And we'll click close here and open the browser and see if it works. You can see I'm using the screener there to record. Why don't we go over here and open another link? I'm not so proficient. Mac, but ignore that. There we go. And it looks like it's not connecting there. And maybe it takes a little while. We'll just pause that while I go check what's going on there. All right, I wasn't paying attention there. And I was putting colon 90. Looks like localhost HTTP forward slash localhost works fine. And we'll log in here. Looks like it's working good. That was pretty simple. It looks like it was a mere two minutes to install SNOM1 on a MacBook. Uh, let's make sure it is registered here. Oops. Click up to the system admin. And we'll go to settings. License. Go in here and readjust this so we can see what we're doing. We'll accept that. And click save. Just move it around so I can see what I'm doing. And we are going to do the evaluate. They call it evaluation, but that's the 10 user, I believe. Click save. And now let's click status. And it looks like we are licensed for a 10 user, 10, 10 extension. All right, installing SNOM 1 on the Mac, MacBook, on a MacBook. Uh, worked pretty flawless. I got snafu'd because I didn't just use localhost. For some reason, I thought I had to use port 90. Looks like it's working good. Didn't register a phone to it, but uh, I'm going to presume it works. Oh, we got a minute and a half. We'll, we'll register a phone too. Hold on. I'll just pause it while I get the phone set up. All right. Um, what I did is I loaded Blink. You can get that at iCanBlink.com. Excellent little SIP soft phone. I shouldn't say little. It's very excellent. Uh, it includes things like uh, screen sharing, instant message, a whole bunch of stuff. I won't go into that in detail. Windows PBX. You can get more information at or iCanBlink.com. And really what I did is I went in here, went add account, and you want, and I'm, I have this soft phone on the same computer as the uh, SNOM1. So you just give it a name. I, in my case, I did 40 at localhost. And then 40 is the password, which is not secure, but you can secure it. And then gave, just called myself, or for that matter, call another extension. This is the mailbox of four. And you can hear it works. Now, one thing I did have to do is go into the uh, access control and make sure that 127 dot is allowed. All right, installing SNOM1 on a MacBook. Worked flawlessly, just took a couple minutes, and also uh, registered a phone using Blink Mac client. Thanks.